Number 67. Based on their positions in the periodic table, predict which has the smallest atomic radius. Mg, Sr, Si, Cl, or I. Okay. So we're talking about atomic radius. So the first thing you should know is you should know the trend for atomic radius on the periodic table. And here it is. If you go across a period, and periods go this way, right? From left to right. So if you go across a period, atomic radius will decrease. So you will start big, your atoms would be bigger, and then as you move across the periodic table, your atoms would get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. The second trend is as you go down a group, your atomic radius would increase. So atomic radius increases as you go down a group. So that means that you start small and then you get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So know those two trends. As you go across a period, your radius will decrease, meaning that the size of the atom gets smaller. As you go down a group, your atomic radius would increase, meaning that you would get larger. So for example, from hydrogen all the way down to francium, francium would be much larger than just little itty bitty hydrogen. So as you go across a period from potassium all the way to krypton, potassium would be very, very, very large as opposed to little itty bitty krypton. So just know those trends. Now, let's look at where these elements are on the periodic table. We have magnesium, strontium, silicon, chlorine, and iodine. So usually I do this by a process of elimination. They want the smallest ones, so I would automatically get rid of the ones that I know would be large by following this atomic trend. As I go down the, a group, my atomic radius increases. So that means that strontium would not be the smallest and iodine would not be the smallest. Now I just work from magnesium, silicon, and chlorine. And as you move across a period, your radii will get smaller and smaller and smaller. So between these, chlorine would be the smallest. That's it. Which one would be the smallest? It would be chlorine. That's it for that one. Box this answer off. So you're just using your, basically your trends that you know to help answer this question. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Hopefully this helped. If it did, click the like button. And if you want to help the channel out, click subscribe. We're almost at 100 subscribers. And that's pretty awesome to see. It's crazy that we even made it above 50. So thank you so much for supporting us. I hope that we're helping you and we're giving you the simplest explanations. I'll see you guys all in number 68. Have an awesome day.